Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Kyle here with Family Firearm Reviews. And we're out here with Lauren's favorite, or her new favorite, the Walter PDPF. Now we did throw the Ameriglo sight on there that we did get, the red dot. It is a 3.5 MOA. So we're gonna see how that runs. Uh, when we did order it, Walter sent us the plate. So that all comes with it. Last time we brought this out, we weren't able to bring this out because it hadn't come in yet. But now it's come in, we mounted it, we've got it on there. Uh, I did a little bit of um, sighting at the house, so we've got it kind of zeroed, bore sighted, and then we're going to take it out to the range, see how good I am there, and we're going to go over a couple of the specs again. Remember, we have the 4-inch version here, so if you do want to know more of the specs, feel free to dive into some of our other videos. Uh, we do have one on the first shots, 150 rounds through this, and then we do have one of a disassembly of this, uh, Table Talk, kind of going over all the different features and the internals. So, the big thing here, though, is that Ameriglo Red Dot. We are going to run 150 rounds through it today because we are working towards a thousand round review and we are going to run some 124 NATO spec Winchester. We are going to run some 124 MagTech and then we have some remanufactured ammo from Lax Ammo. So this is a little bit dirtier, see if we can gunk the firearm up. I think I'm going to run this first and then see how that all works. But this is 115. So let's get to the important stuff. Let's get out to the range and get to shooting. So now we're here with our Ameriglo with our PDPF. I'm going to take the first three shots for accuracy, then I'm going to let Lauren take it over. I'm going to see uh, how we do. So let's try it out. Not too bad, they're grouped low to left, but I'm going to adjust the sight up here for Lauren and then we're going to keep going. But so far so good. I'm on target at least. Lauren with Family Firearms, and since my Ameriglo finally came in the mail, I'm going to see how I do with it. A little low, but I'm getting where I'm going. So I made an adjustment to the mirror glow. We'll see if we can bring those shots up. Lauren and I both were a little low. So I adjusted the dot up and let's see where we're at. Much better, much tighter group. I think we need a little bit more up and we should be right there. Last adjustment should put us right on there. Let's see how we do. Well, not the direction I wanted to go. So, I think I might have turned it the wrong way. So, I uh, always got to remember, it's not like a, a pistol or a rifle scope. It's, you got to chase the bullet. You're not trying to bring the sight to the thing. So I put it right back where I was. So. Let me turn it back the other way and we'll get it set right. Last time, hopefully sighting this thing in. Not bad, they're all grouping, so at least it's on. So something that I've realized putting those 15 rounds through is that with the optics plate, you're raising that up just enough that you're not going to be able to co-witness your sights. So that's something that you're going to have to keep in mind if you want to put an optic on this, that you're going to lose the ability to do that. 
you're gonna have to make some adjustments for it. But it sure is a lot of fun to shoot. It's nice and crisp. And I think with just a little work, that red dot's gonna be a nice improvement. So now I'm gonna take my turn with Lauren's PDPF and see how it goes. You do really gotta get that mag in there. I saw her struggle a little bit. Make sure you do slap it when you've got all 15 in there. And then she's able to rack this, which I'm really impressed with using those front serrations. And it is really easy to rack. So I don't care if it's F for female, it's a nice gun. There we go, a few adjustments and I'm doing pretty good. Now that we have our red dot shots, let's get our thoughts. Here we are to do our wrap up with our Walther PDPF with the Ameriglow that we got for free. And I thought it was a nice red dot. I thought it went on the firearm pretty well. We were able to dial it in. We got a 10 yard zero there. We were a little low at first, brought it up, got it zeroed in. It's a 3.5 MOA, which is, isn't real big, but the slide manipulation wasn't bad when you were out there racking it. It was pretty comfortable. Cause I know we put a red dot on one of our stokers, which is Lauren's favorite, and it kind of ruined it for her, right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm not a huge red dot person because for me, you gotta get it on the gun and then I've gotta see if I can rack it after it's been put on there. Like you said with the stoker, I loved that gun. I could have been the spokesperson for stoker. I love that gun so much. We put that green dot on there and I couldn't function the slide anymore. So I pouted out here for a day. Um, so this isn't something that I was seeking out for this gun. I think we all know that I was the one who wanted this gun. I love this gun. Kyle likes it, he appreciates it, but I was the, the driving force behind hunting this down. Um, I wouldn't have gone and gotten this to train with right off of the bat, but it came with it for free. So it's actually a really nice way for me to start working on training with that red dot in a way that I, I wouldn't have gone out and sought for myself at first. And when we were at home, I actually put some black tape and excluded the red dot so Lauren could get used to looking at it. Cause you impose it on the target instead of looking through your sights, focusing on your front sight, which is what I do. I know there's a million different ways to sight <laughs> in a pistol or use open sights. You do whatever works best for you, but that's how I was taught. So you really have to work on that. So I did at home, we put some black tape on it. Uh, we went through the Mantis system with it and she did really well. But that's something you're going to have trained with because it is a, a different way to aim. You do lose your co-witness. She was right. I didn't notice that right off the bat. She actually did because I don't always look for that. But that is. So you are losing your co-witness when you mount this. It puts it up too high. These sights are very low. I'm sure you can buy other ones to make it. So you could co-witness or suppressor height sights or things like that. 
I know Walther has lots of different things out there, but the serrations and, and you're really, these are really big grooves and you can really get your fingers in there and really get a good grip on this firearm from the front. If you wanted to rack it that way, right? It really is nice. You can still grab it from the rear, but you've got to get in there a little further. If you go too far back, you're just going to slide right off. You have to be in front of maybe that middle serration to get a hold of it. But even even with any grip strength issues, I think especially this week, I've been having a lot more issues with my arm. Um, I was worried today that I was gonna have problems shooting, snapping back from the front without any issue at all. Really flawless, really, really reliable, especially if you're like me and you've got any kind of strength and grip issue. Yeah, and it's nice that this flares out at the bottom. This is a great red dot starter because you're gonna be able to put your hand down there and usually you tilt the gun up and you've lost your red dot. So as you bring it down, you're gonna find it again. This is gonna help with that flip and it really gets that solid in your hand. If I rack the slide forward again, you can see you've got a very, very, very deep beaver tail. You can get up on the firearm. You've got lots of good places to put your hand. You are gonna end up probably riding this slide stop slide release. I did a little bit and I know that um, I did let it go forward a couple times. It didn't lock back because of that, but that's just my hand placement, no fault of the firearm. It is fully ambi, so left and right-handed shooters can use this. We've got slide stops and a swappable mag release, right? And I know it's swappable. I've seen it swapped on other ones. Uh, I have run into that where it looks swappable on other guns and it's not uh, in the long run, but it is swappable on this. So you can run right or left-handed. It's It's been a pretty nice firearm out of the box. We did two other reviews on a table talk and we did shots with just the open sights. And Lauren's really turning into one of her favorites. The texture on this is great for her. It's very aggressive and you can get a very good feel on this firearm when you're out there. The improvements that they've made on this firearm to meet the specifications that they wanted when they were designing it, it's a home run. They did what they intended to do, and it's a beautiful gun. I mean, it is so, I can't say it enough, it's worth it. If you think that this Walther PDPF might be something that's going to suit your needs, go get it. Go get it now. Yep, you've got a slightly reduced trigger reach. It's got a nice wide blade safety trigger, no external safety on this one. We want the four inch, but they do make a three and a half. So if you're gonna carry, you know, it was nice when it came with this optic and I saw a lot of people out there got it, commented on our other one. Oh, did you get the optic? It's like, yeah, we did. We just didn't get it at the time. We wanted to get out to the range and shoot this first one. It's got some nice cuts. So when you do reholster it, it's gonna go in there very easily. I mean, it's a great, you know, Walther's a great company. It was designed very well. And the only downside that I think is it does have that plastic rod here instead of something metal, which even our budget ended gun has one. So that's maybe a little downfall, but that's really it. I mean, but it's performed flawlessly out here for us and it shoots very, very well. So we're definitely gonna get a thousand rounds through this. I have no doubts in my mind. We've brought this out every time we've come out. So it's a really great firearm, a good weight, and it's, it's definitely designed for somebody with some grip strength. And there's a lot of firearms coming out like that. We've done a lot of videos on them. So I think this is a definite market for that and for anybody who just wants to get into shooting. This is a great starter pistol too. Absolutely. So I hope you liked the video. Come back and check us out again. Check some of the other videos and links down below and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Comment below. We want to hear from you. Get more content from Family Firearm Reviews by joining our Patreon and checking out the links in the description.